looks like it. Okay. Um, yeah. Who else? So supposed to be alive? Don't, don't answer that. Which um, slides are not cheap. I don't have slides. Oh, okay. Struggle. <laughs> Um, no, I, I mean, I could have had something ready, but honestly, all the presentations this weekend uh, overlapped a lot. I don't know if anyone else noticed that, you know, which is actually quite great. I mean, like, just took a few Amanda's, you know, on the language, um, Elias on just all of it. Uh, and even though Trace didn't present, and I read the, you know, little recap, I've done most of my papers in university on, you know, feral children and how, um, like, communication is not something that should be assumed, just like like things like, um, you know, all kinds of things that we assume are real and assume that is inherent, um, it just isn't. You have to learn those things, you have to be taught those things, you know, forced to believe those things. Um, so a lot of us are on very similar pages with it, which is pretty awesome, I think. Um, it's really useful, that way we know how to address the public. Um, so a lot of us, um, a lot of us also, I mean, yeah, it's an ap academic technically um, conference. So we re reference a lot of writers and academics and other activists, but um, it's pretty apparent that we all know these things. So we are those people, um, you know, even though we haven't published books. And I've always thought that, even when I was in university, I'm like, well, I always knew these things. Just because I haven't published a book doesn't mean that nobody should listen to me, you yeah. Um, and you know, I have other struggles like, um, you know, undiagnosed ADD and things like that. So, privilege of maybe mental stability, actually being able to write a book, let alone, you know, get your thoughts out is probably what's keeping a lot of us from, you know, being these people. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, just to uh, summarize, I guess, the issues of humanizing other animals. Um, and you know, the saviorism, and if Anthony just talked about that, it is a hypocrisy when you think about it, anthropomorphizing. Um, we're, all of us seem to be seeking a balance that really doesn't exist. Um, you know, a balance for, um, like, do non human people have these vast experiences just like us humans supposedly do? Um, or, you know, do we need to dramatize their identities and, you know, leave their animalness untouched? You know, it's either they become more human or they become, no, they're, they're just animals, but like we're also animals. It's a weird balance, it really is. It's hard to, you know, find what to go with. Don't pull my cable. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you know, what do we focus on? Or uh, how do we identify each other and um, others on this planet? Um, you know, and I, I think something that I've noticed even from other, um, Kind of conferences and stuff I've been to uh, with uh, many of you. Um, we don't focus on dehumanizing ourselves enough, potentially. Like we focus on, you know, bringing uh, non-human people up and like to a level or to like a le level that they're recognized for being individuals. But um, how many of us actually experience the things that non-human animals do, like on a daily basis, just chilling, being outside, going on walks? No, we're like working full time. First of all, who invented five days work week? I don't understand. Isn't there under seven days of work? I don't understand. <laughs> you know, that's a whole, I mean, it's all like these constructs that someone came up with and as groups, you know, they were like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, capitalism. Yeah, let's continue with this, you know, these ways of life. And we really lose ourselves. Not to say that we're not already animals. Of course we are, but like, and not to say that non-human animals don't do the things that we still do, you know, on a daily basis communicating with each other, but like that seems fun, right? Like just running around. Yeah. I do it often. I <laughs> I lie around. I mean, once I started really deconstructing the world around me and myself, um, it's difficult for me to view non-human animals as animals, as even non-human animals, as anything but individuals. Um, and any of you all and anyone out there that I can communicate with as anything but a person. So it, it is difficult for me to reconstruct when I need to. They're like, no, but how old are you? I'm, I, whoa, that's a long time. I haven't thought about that. So, and I'll get into all of those. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, the balance is quite difficult. And something that I've often heard that I want to address really quick is 
Um, I even have a t-shirt of it that says, Our Planet Theirs Too. And like this of, we're all here together. I'm sorry, but the Earth does not care if we're here.